The city of Ocean Springs isn't just looking at boom to protect its beaches and delicate ecosystems from all that oil. Mayor Connie Moran says the city plans to put down a material that is yet to be used on the coast. Crystal Allen joins us in our studio tonight to explain. Thanks, Jeff. It's called X-Tex. It's an absorbent material that will be about five feet wide that will be fenced around some of the beach area marshes and by use in the city. Mayor Connie Moran says the city sees this product as a great first-line defense against the oil should it come that way. Serene and pristine, this delicate marsh area as well as bayous and the beach in Ocean Springs will soon have a new line of defense protecting it from the oil. We came across this product called X-Tex. It is a recycled fabric that would be attached to T-bar and chicken wire. The absorbent material is like silt fencing. It feels like wool and will be about five feet wide. The mayor says the width of the material will prove helpful in catching oil beneath the surface. We didn't have a lot of confidence in the booms that they were deploying right now. I guess they're okay as a first line of defense, but we wanted something that went down from the ground up to the top of the marshes in particular to catch any oil that would be dispersed through the water. Water passes through it so it can stand up to wave action much better, but it captures the oil molecules and it can actually be removed and about 80 percent of the oil recycled and used again. DMR has approved one mile of the material to be put along places Places like this marsh area at the foot of Washington Avenue. Curve area, and it goes beneath the road and back out into the sound. So this is a tidally influenced marsh. We want to make sure that we can put this fencing probably on the front and the back sides if we're really threatened with oil. It will also be placed along areas like the harbor, onto East Beach and the mouth of the Davis Bayou, and in areas of the beach where Boom now sits. We've already obtained our permit from the Corps of Engineers, EPA, all the different agencies. So we've been working on this for about several weeks now. Mayor Moran says her city is also looking into other options to front load its arsenal of defenses should the oil make its way to her city. We're also looking at some microbe products that could actually eat the oil or spray onto the marshes if oil does indeed infiltrate the marshes. So we're already one step ahead. And the mayor says she hopes to get that material installed sometime this week, most likely Thursday.